so that's Beechworth. I'm going to head probably down to uh, Glen Rowan now. <laughs> it is. Head to Glen Rowan and have a look at Ned Kelly's last stand. Nope, I took the wrong street. I wasn't quite heading to Wangaratta, I was heading to Myrtleford, so now I'm uh, should be on the right track now. I've got markets on. Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah, so just heading down the hill now. Gee, it's very hazy over there. Yeah, so it's nice and cool up here with the window open, but it's going to be interesting when I get down the hill. Here in Victoria, they have a lot of trees right over the road. That's the Tarawingi. Tarawingi, it said. Coming into Glen Rowan. There's the big Ned Kelly. Another big thing. Yeah, Ned Kelly hanged a murderer in Melbourne, November 11, 1880. 25, 26 years old. Described as a rebel bush ranger by necessity. A bush battler, underdog, sometimes gentleman, sometimes larrikin. Oh, yeah. It's here at Glen Rowan where uh, he made his last stand with that with that armour on the Kelly gang I'll see what's around you have to go to you have to pay to go into that information centre so I'm just going to have a look up here was the outcome of a fail plan by the Kelly gang to derail a special train carrying police and trackers We'd been searching for the outlaws as so a Kelly gang were trying to ambush the police who had been trying to catch them. So I'm just filming it through the wire here, but there's the uh, I don't know if it's a replica, but that's Glen Rowan Railway Station. And over there there are some statues of looks like police policemen. And according to the little uh, thing there, that's where they took up position. And uh, it looks like somewhere up past that white house where Nick Kelly was captured, you used to be able to go there. And I don't see anyone walking around, I don't know if you can get to it. In Beechworth, so the Kelly clan and their associate had appeared in the Beechworth courthouse with petty crimes. Yeah, so Nick Kelly was transported from Beechworth for trial at Supreme Court for the murders, murder of Thomas Lonigan at Stringybark Creek. So, yeah, guilty verdict. Some believe Ned Kelly's trial for the murder was unjust, but he had survived this. I think he claimed it was self-defence. So, yep, Ned Kelly was hung on November 1880. Yeah, so it's all Kelly country, Yeroa, Banala. So this is a replica of the railway station, both in exactly the same spot. I wonder if this was used in any movies. I think there was a Heath Ledger one and the other ones, documentaries and the like. Not much going in there. It's the same platform. So they had reporters here and things. So I'm probably standing right about here. 
cars parked about here. Ned Kelly planned to derail a special police train about a kilometre east of Glen Rowan. The station the train was speeding to the scene of a murder near Beechworth. On board was a team of reporters. Yeah. So it was a trap by the Kelly gang. So it's a replica. This structure is a replica of this station building which stood on this exact site. It was it was where Ned Kelly received medical attention after he was shot and captured. He was then taken by special train to the jail in Melbourne. Well I think he I think he went to Beechworth. It's like something yeah, hopefully you can get to where Ned Kelly was shot and captured. I think it's up the hill there. I don't know what this is. I probably should have found a map or something saying what it is. So there are some people camping there now that will stop, but they've got some little statues of troopers police officers so they must have kind of all surrounded this area yeah so they took some hostages so these are statues of policemen and uh yeah we've got the station just through here and uh yeah it's around here where they uh, apparently opened fire in the moonlight and they, they talked about diving into ditches and things with the Kelly gang shooting at them but the Kelly gang sort of thought they were invincible with their armor but you know their legs and arms were exposed but they found a gun here a pistol here in 1997 it's a pity that car had to be there if it's caravan but now I'll, I want to find where that Kelly came down so on the night of the 26th of June 1880 they said there was a party of seven road gravel contractors who camped near this spot. And the Kelly, Kelly gang tried to get them to destroy the railway line or something. I hope I haven't oversimplified that, but I think uh, I think up here is where they brought him down. I think actually there's a suit of armour up here, so this might be it coming up. There's uh, Ned Kelly, and there's his armour, or replica of his armour through there. Early on the cold winter morning of June 28th, 1880, the seriously wounded Edward Ned Kelly finally fell at this place and was captured brought down by Sergeant Steele's double-barreled shotgun fired from across nearby creek well, there's a little creek there so right, right around here but there used to be a um, a log around this area that's good it's quite a good little representation and there's uh, there's the station down here and I think the police were saying you could hear Ned Kelly calling out to the other gang members were they okay. So that is pretty close. Where he was brought down. Yeah, so that's quite a good uh, quite a good just basic display there of nothing over the top of the little plaque there. So yeah, so that's the uh, Glen Rowan police station. 1885 it uh, says here in 1880 the hotel premises leased by Victorian police and operated as the Glen Rowan police station was bailed up by the Telly Kelly gang the officer in charge constable Hugh Bracken taken prisoner by Ned on this occasion Ned commented on his familiarity with the lockup which he noted had been relocated from nearby Greta so yeah that's the uh, that's the lockup at the back there. Now, the lockup was apparently relocated in 1880. So Ned Ned Kelly, in his younger days, was held in here at times in this lockup. 
so it was in there and of course as that sign there says the irony is that he was in there as a young younger person and only meters it was relocated to where he was captured right here so there's a replica of his armor and uh captured there. Ned Kelly began his colourful career at odds with the law when as a lad at 16 he became a guest of the Crown in the lockup at nearby Greta. Oh well I think I've come to see what I wanted to see. Yeah, I'm glad I uh, made the trek down here and got into Glen Rowan. I did get a souvenir it's a little 3D magnet and uh, a little keychain little gun there Just turned off at Katamatite and heading for New America. It's coming into New America. the numerical pool and no wonder I thought it was really deep as a kid because the deep end there is 3.5 meters and there used to be a, a few diving boards there and yeah as a kid <laughs> it just seemed huge I might have a little look later but um, yeah that river right there is flowing pretty high and there's the, the train up here the steam train which I remember I used to be able to climb on that Yeah, so down there is where free camping is. So I might go and have a look at that. Yeah, so this is one of those you have to be self-contained to stay here. But it's a beautiful looking caravan park as well. But uh, yeah, a few vans here without cars. So I know there was a big wedding in at one of the parks there. So maybe some of these vehicles are here for that. So that's me. I'm not parking underneath. The, a big gum tree so um, I'll just see what it's like here very windy I've been driving over all those well underneath those trees that cover cover the road so you're sort of hoping that no branches uh, fall There's the old train now. When we were kids, we uh, used to climb on this. So you can still get in it. What does that say there? K class engine. Built Newport Workshops 1943. Trebled. Yes. Yeah, I know when we were kids we were in this. Just, uh, it's like you can go through there and climb up there, but I'm not going to. Yeah. 
tied in here. The river is wonderful. Look at the river in the caravan park is right on the water too. Flying foxes. Yeah, look at that, right across the whole trees are covered. No wonder I could hear them. So this is called the Broken Creek. According to that sign, the Broken Creek. Well, this tractor it looks like a tree's fallen on it. A big dent there. Yeah, this is where we uh, used to come as kids. It's a little bit hard sort of walking around a town filming like this, so I'll be doing it really quick. The Ray Denman Memorial Pool, named after a policeman killed in the line of duty. I think it said 1964. Would have gone through those gates a few times. The entrance to the caravan park. But the sign here in America, first surveyed by Alfred Lee in 1875. Soldier settlement. In America was the centre of the largest soldier settlement area in Australia, commenced April 1947. Mary McKillop, St. Mary McKillop opened the first Yosephite school in Victoria, in America, 1890. In America became the terminus for the railway from Melbourne in 1881, and George Pethar. Tarak soft drinks, which was a famous soft drink back in the day, began in the Merca in 1899 by George Pethard. So, yeah, I remember Tarak's. I can't remember if I ever knew, knew that about New Merca, but uh, yeah, it's Sunday morning, so it's probably not as busy uh, as it should be, but it's still busy enough. Very hard to sort of film a bit. Just in the uh, War Memorial here in Yamurka. I can't remember if that soldier stood higher somewhere or it was always there. Yeah, so up here they had the Murray Valley Soldier Settlement Scheme. So they had all the properties. That's why you see so many roads, they're all just 90 degrees. Oh. 564 settlers in the Murray Valley Soldier Settlement Scheme. This is what my grandfather used to do with the Clydesdale horses. Make the canals, I mean, that could even be him. Him, or maybe even him. And this, this guy up here, I wonder if that's the back of him. Yeah, so he built a lot of the canals with, with his horses. I heard it, I heard somewhere that once the Australian War Memorial had their eyes on this statue, they wanted to uh, take it to Canberra. But uh, obviously they didn't. Still here. This is the uh, caravan park. So it's, it's like there might be some permanence there right on the water. But... Oops. 
see. Yeah, nice little park. I'll go and see what those uh, what they are. I'm starting to wonder is it a like a winery or olive oil or something? No. We'll go check it out. So it's in silo. Yeah, it says grain corp and there's a lot of uh, cockies everywhere all over the ground getting the grain. Just get a little bit of morning exercise. This is what I can see from up here. Another wide gauge track. Gee, you really notice the, uh, the wide gauges come to to here compared to some of the other states. Lots of uh, contrails. Yeah, I think I've driven past the house where my grandparents lived. I'm not too sure about it. Um, yeah, there's sort of people out the front, so we don't really hang around and take too many shots. I think exactly where their house was, there was a guy and people working there looking straight at me as I was filming, so yeah, I don't think it was any of these. I mean it could have been could have been that one, number Just found another little puzzy. So I'll get the breeze right off the water tonight. Well, I will get the sun going down about there, so I might turn the car a little bit later. I'm just avoiding all these big gum tree branches. So, yeah. I've set up my extender poles again from the Tarago to this one. Temporary thing you can sort of drive around with these still hooked on, so. Want to change sites later? Yeah, it's a nice way to spend the afternoon. Got the black swans just there. Good morning from New Merca. That was last night's camp. It's still quite cool actually. <laughs> I did see the black swans. Um, flying past before I've been trying to film from the car but uh, trying to change the gears has been a bit hard so I'm just going to walk down the street and have a look
lady name. 